Moin, Servus, Moin! Wir sehen uns heute hier live auf Twitch zum Resident Evil Showcase 2022. Wir werden mehr sehen zu Resident Evil 4 Remake und Resident Evil Village DLC. Auf beides bin ich gehypt. Jetzt liefert was. Did you get in here? Oh, please don't fret. I have no intention of making a meal of you. Das war schon cool gemacht, weil es der Händler, ne? Die Speicherschreibmaschine. Cool. Purveyor of goods to lords and ladies, prophets and priestesses. I do so strive to please my patrons. I hope we can become well acquainted. But of course it is not I who is on display here. But rather the wares on offer for you. I deal in all manner of commerce, but today I trade in knowledge. This place is a veritable hoard of information, gathered from all throughout the realms of man. The more hard won the knowledge, the higher the price. Macht er jetzt einen auf Kurator? of the value of such things. Well. Since we're here, I've got a few morsels I'd love to share with such a connoisseur. Sieht aus wie die Villa aus RE1. Nee, das ist glaube ich irgendeine Bücherei aus aus dem Dimitrescu Schloss, was wir aber noch nicht gesehen haben. World Premiere. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Happy half birthday, Rose. Das tat so weh, Mann. So ein schlimmes Ende. You are my precious Rose. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. Eine Theorie ist ja, dass das gar nicht so lange ähm, in der Zukunft spielt, oder so weit in der Zukunft, weil Rose schneller alt hat. Könnte sein, ne? Jetzt bin ich mal gespannt. Dimitrescu Schloss. We are back! <lacht> was schreibst du? Was ist das denn für einer? <lacht> oh mein Gott, nein. Naja, ihre Superkräfte werden schon regeln. No matter. Your imminent demise is inevitable. Ist das Ethan? Imagine, die bauen ihn als Boss ein. Dann muss ich aber los. Ja. Gar nicht so viel Neues, aber hat schon gehypt. 28.10. Werden wir spielen. I'm Kento Kinoshita, the director Musikuntermalung war auch wirklich Bombe. Wenn Ethan Boss wird, würde ich zuerst auf die Hand gehen. Ich kann mir vorstellen, die bringen das. Die bringen das, weil sie muss sich ihren Ängsten stellen. Das Schlimmste wäre, den eigenen Vater killen zu müssen. Auch wenn es nur so ein Klon ist. Trying to get rid of her unwanted powers, but to do that, she is forced to return to the origin of her misfortune. 
We thought that concept had a lot of potential for an interesting story. Oh yeah, so the oh, yeah. das hat Potenzial. Realm of consciousness, going back one more time to that village. Damn. The word nightmare is synonymous with fear. For instance, if you've ever had a childhood fever that caused a nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll or something else similarly so completely unrealistic, can remain as a fragment of a memory for the rest of your life. I wanted the core of the feeling of fear to come from Annabelle, no, memories and nightmares that still haunt scary. people to this day. We wanted to choose characters that would interest people who didn't play the mercenaries mode, but would be interested in playing a different type of character. Ja, das ist zwar nett, aber juckt mich nicht. Lords, and playing as them allows you to perform amazing skills and attacks that a regular human could not. Being able to play them was more fun. So that's why we chose those characters. Das ist also dieser Trash Modus, ne? Kann man machen, aber mich juckt nur die Story. We balanced things to ensure that as little time as possible was spent waiting for enemies to appear. For instance, if a player doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. We made adjustments like this to raise the tempo and increase the fun of defeating enemy after enemy. Endlich kann man die Lady Dimitrescu spielen. Ja, ja, das ist schon geil. Klar. Third person mode ist neu. You experience the game world as if it's through your own eyes. So wie früher halt. It can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from that perspective. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the first person perspective. Ach komm mir nicht mit too scary, Alter. Meine Fresse. To make a third person mode for those players. To enjoy the game to its fullest. Aber klar, in Zukunft wäre es gut, wenn sie einfach beide Modi anbieten. Third-Person passt besser, nein. Finde ich nicht. Aber wie gesagt, in Zukunft einfach beides. So even in third person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, Ethan will look away and you're not quite able to get a good look. Ja, man konnte es trotzdem hacken. Sein Gesicht ist schon lange bekannt. Each of the three editions are interesting in their own. Ich hab's ja auch gezeigt im LP. And we hope you really enjoy the expansion. Please look forward to it. Thank you. Aber wenn ich sowas höre von wegen, ah, es war für einige zu gruselig. Starting today, a demo for the third person mode will be available. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. Was? This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in third person mode. Aber nur das Hauptgame, oder? First person mode. Ja gut, wer die Demo spielen will, Abfahrt. World Premiere. Mission adjustment. No, doesn't change anything. In a while since we fought together, Captain. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. Jetzt kommt RE4, oder? Davon habe ich ja gar keinen Plan. Nee, ist was anderes. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, ja. Nein, danke. Oh, die Musik gerade wieder. Richtig schöne Anspielungen in Resi 7. Resident Evil R Reverse is free content for those who own Resident Evil Village. Ja, die 8 war alles andere als gruselig. Gold Edition. Schnauze, du hast es doch nicht mal durchgespielt. Bei dem Baby bei der Puppe, ich schwöre, du scheißt dir ein. Das war 10 out of 10. Danach stürzt das Spiel ein bisschen ab. Ja, aber immer noch ein gutes Niveau. Dimitrescu schloss ist 10 von 10. Puppe ist 10 von 10. Und danach auf, hält es sich auf einem guten Niveau. Aber nicht gruselig? 
Nein, das stimmt nicht. Resident Evil Village will be playable on even more platforms. An meinem Smartphone, Hello, everyone. My name is Jeremy Sanmo, and I'm part of the GPU software team at Apple. During the keynote at our Worldwide Developers Conference, Capcom announced Resident Evil Village will be coming to the Mac later this year and will take full advantage of the power Haben die nicht sogar eine Google Stadia Version angekündigt? Das äh, ist glaube ich jetzt Geschichte. The Mac users around the world beginning Friday, October 28th. Resident Evil Village is the first project based on Capcom's RE engine to support the Mac and runs natively on Apple Silicon. And since the game is optimized die kriegen safe einen dicken Metal Scheck like von Apple, Gameplay dass sie das ständig so erwähnen. And beautiful visuals. This means that every Mac, from MacBook Air to Mac ja, RE7 war, war gruseliger, das stimmt schon. Stay tuned for more information soon. Da gehe ich mit. Hello everyone, I am Midoro from Ubitus. And I am Yonatani from Ubitus. It is a great honor to be taking part in this global project of the Resident Evil franchise on cloud with Capcom. With the launch of the cloud version, not only fans from Japan, but from all over the world can play the game ja, ich will ja nichts sagen, aber so Sachen wie Mac und Cloud, muss man das in so einen Stream integrieren, das reicht, wenn du das einmal in zwei Sätzen nebenbei erwähnst oder auf Social Media und gut ist. Well playing it in multiple modes that Nintendo Switch offers, such as TV mode, tabletop mode and handheld mode. It is great to be able to focus on the gameplay without thinking about storage space or the download time. You can also check your network environment by playing the demo before you pre-order or purchase the game. The game can be pre-ordered or purchased after you play the demo. This is to make sure that those who are playing a cloud game for the first time or may have concerns can test it and enjoy the game. With 5G mobile network technology being so widespread recently, the barrier between installing the game and playing it on cloud is getting smaller and smaller. We hope you will enjoy it and marvel at the technology of cloud gaming as well as its future through the release of Resident Evil Village Cloud. Resident Evil Village Cloud will be available on October 28th and the Winter's Expansion DLC will follow on December 2nd. Furthermore, RE2 Cloud will launch on November 11th, followed by the RE3 Cloud on November 18th, and RE7 Cloud will be available on December 16th. Ja, müsst ihr wissen, aber... <lacht> How delightful! Such delectable information ought to be safer. What's that? You want more? <laughs> what a greedy thing you are. No, it's quite all right. I love to see a healthy appetite. I'll do er hat doch schon mehr versprochen. Come, have a look at this. So, das muss jetzt aber RE4 sein. Everyone. I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. First, please enjoy this new gameplay footage. Mm -hmm. Bitte keine Verschiebung. Das wäre nämlich wirklich ein absoluter Kill für mich. Ich habe danach halt keine Zeit. Im März, das passt schon gut. Das haben wir doch alle schon gesehen, oder? Aber drin waren wir, glaube ich, noch nicht. Mhm. Ich mag die Details. Sieht schon echt stark aus. Hoffentlich Gruselfaktor wie bei Rese 7. Ich habe keine Ahnung, für mich ist das blind. Kann mal jemand ohne Spoiler schreiben, ist RE4 gruselig oder eher actionlastig?
beides. Mhm. Okay. Ja, ist ja nicht schlecht. Ist das die PS5-Fassung? Die zeigen ja meistens die PS5-Fassung. Wow. Wow, was ist denn mit dem seinem Kopf los? What the hell? Der hat es mit dem Seitenblick beim Autofahren ein bisschen zu ernst genommen. Den Spruch muss ich mir fürs Let's Play merken. <lacht> Ganz anders als im Original. Oh, das wird dann wieder einige triggern, glaube ich. Er schaut schon etwas geknickt, der Arme. Ja. Bruce. This is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to people here. My escorts are. <lacht> Was? <lacht> Wie clean der Sprung einfach war. <lacht> ah, okay, es ist die PS-Fassung. <lacht> oh, die arme Oma. War das gerade mit Roundhouse-Kick? Läuft bei ihm. Ich fand die Kuh. Als ob er die einfach abgefackelt hat. Aber geil, dass es geht. Irgendwie. What the fuck? Ey, dagegen ist der Vater aus RE7 ja gar nichts. Da kann sich Jack noch ein Beispiel dran nehmen. Oh nein, nein. Was ist da los? <lacht> Weiß ich nicht, ist das nicht ein bisschen übertrieben? <lacht> Als ob der doch die Zeit hat, den zu messern. Ey, ja, natürlich. Natürlich. <lacht> What did you think? As you just saw, hm. we are paying respect to the original game's world. Genau. While implementing new ideas and stated the art graphics to strengthen the core concepts of the title. We think this game will provide a fresh experience with a sense of familiarity if you played the original that both newcomers and veterans to Resident Evil 4 will enjoy. Also grafisch fand, fand ich sehr sehr gut. Nados will have all new ways to attack. They are closing in on Leon during his mission and will attack with an even greater variety of methods than in the original. Möglichkeiten im Combat scheinen auch ziemlich nice zu sein sowohl im, im Nahkampf als auch mit den Schusswaffen und mit der Umgebung. Beispiel Feuer. Aber es gibt auch da ein paar Cringe-Szenen, äh, wenn das in RE8 wäre, dann würde der Nerdy wieder rumheulen. 
just as in the original, using the attaché case effectively will be key. In addition to managing the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other items. Geht schon gut ab. Over here, stranger. Of course, we can't forget the merchant. Something new for you. You can purchase weapons and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. Mm -hmm. We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected can be exchanged for special items. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. We are rebuilding the original game while respecting its core experience, adding new ideas and modernizing the play field. <laughs> yeah, that things. Now I'd like to share some new information regarding this product's release. We Nine. announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available on PlayStation 4, in addition to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, and PC. The PlayStation 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. Okay, I'd like cool. to introduce two other editions we are preparing for players ich dachte gerade, er sagt, wir müssen es verschieben edition. oder so ein Scheiß. The first is the Deluxe Edition, which will be available for all platforms. Ah, jetzt wird abgecached. This includes additional content, such as costumes, special weapons, <lacht> a treasure map and more. 99 Euro. Next is the physical only 200 Euro. Edition. This edition includes the Aber contents of the Deluxe Edition, aus. as well as a Leon figure, a special map, art book, soundtrack, er hat Deluxe and gesagt, more. Ja? Deluxe. Also, pre-orders start today. If you pre-order the standard edition, you'll receive the attaché case gold and special charm handgun ammo. Mm -hmm. If you pre-order the deluxe edition or collector's edition, you'll receive the standard edition pre-order bonuses as well as attaché case classic and special charm and herb. If you pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive a mini soundtrack. You can secure these bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil 4. Thank you for watching so far. We are working hard to create a game that Die Preise everyone würden mich jetzt interessieren. So please, look forward to it. Before I go, we have one more update for you. Let's take a look. Here is a teaser for Resident Evil 9. Look at this. This way it's so anders weird. Machen die's jetzt echt? Oder ist das eine DLC-Erweiterung? Mit einer komplett neuen Story, die sie sich ausgedacht haben. Anscheinend, oder? Keine Ahnung. Your soul requires cleansing. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. I'm hearing the president's orders and... What is that? What do we do? The last lamps are escaping. We need to go! It's us! I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada. Who are you? And what are you doing here? My faith in the cycle will show her the path. Ashley, run! The entire world shall overflow with these grains. What's What's happening happening to me? <laughs> now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. Now that he has chosen death. <sighs> oh, you gotta be kidding me.
Ja, schon klar, aber was war das jetzt? War das einfach nur ein weiterer Trailer? Did you enjoy the Resident Evil Showcase? Let's recap. First, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition launches on Friday, October 28th. If you already own Resident Evil Village, you could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC separately. The Winter's Expansion includes three additional modes. War noch mal ein Story Trailer. So you can enjoy the main game in a new perspective. The powered up, the mercenaries additional up? orders, and the new story campaign Shadows of Rose. Oh, yes, a demo for the third person mode will be available today. Don't forget. The early access period for Resident Evil R Reverse begins October 24th for all owners of Village. Resident Evil Village Cloud, playable on Nintendo Switch via a cloud service, will be available starting October 28th. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 7 are also coming to Nintendo Switch via cloud at a later date. Also, the Mac version of Resident Evil Village will be released on October 28th. The newest entry in the series, Resident Evil 4, will release on Friday, March 24th, 2023. And you can pre-order it today. Good. We hope you look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. Dann wird's hoffentlich dabei bleiben. Well, well. Looks like you've had your fill. With such a grand display, I should hope so. Oh, I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another merchant. An odd chap, but his information is good. And I shouldn't say any more. Anyway, I do hope I'll see you again. I'll strive to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. War eine gute Präsentation, fand ich. Äh, Freue mich, wie gesagt, sehr auf den DLC. Hat nochmal schön Hype aufgebaut, auch wenn sie jetzt nicht so krass viel Neues dazu gezeigt haben. Aber der Trailer war stark und die Musik auch. Bei RE4 weiß ich irgendwie immer noch nicht, was ich erwarten soll. Das ist ja super weird, was da alles abgeht. <lacht> <lacht> vor allem, vor allem das Gameplay. <lacht> Na gut. Wird extrem. Aber geil. <lacht>